Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com with another quick tip on how to get rid of the OneDrive icon or uninstall it if you want. That's up to you. If you just want to get rid of the icon, we can do that per user with a registry file. And the reason for the registry file is it requires a few different settings. So rather than edit the registry three times, it's much easier to grab the registry files from MajorGeeks.com with a link provided in the video description below so you can grab the files. What you have is remove and restore. Watch the OneDrive icon. Click yes at the prompt. Click yes that the world will come to an end. And it's gone. Let's put it back with restore. Once again, just a couple of yeses, okays. And it's back. So, now, of course, just for the fun of it, some people are thinking, well, I'd rather just uninstall it. And that'll also get rid of the icon the hard way. So if you don't use OneDrive, just click on Start, scroll down, find it, and right-click on it, and do Uninstall. That will open Programs and Features. Find OneDrive right there. And you can simply double-click it. Go ahead and click Yes. And in just a matter of a second, it's gone. As you can see, let's go back to obviously see that the OneDrive icon is gone because you removed it. So pretty easy to do. It's just a nice little tweak to get it out of the file explorer. You know, at least this way, if you decide you want it later, you don't have to look at the shortcut. And keep in mind that this is per user. So you have multiple users on your account that you're going to need to run it repeatedly. So for each user, but I mean, how many users do you got, right? Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.